is speaking with Mike in the media. Malik, at halftime, I think you just you had just one three-point make, and then in the second half, you certainly found your range out. What what was different about it? Where were you finding your shots, and how did you find that rhythm? I stopped I stopped um, shooting crazy off the dribble, step back threes, um, and got catch and shoots and one dribble pulls. Um, just better shot selection. There were a couple different stretches, right, where you guys hit a three, they hit a three, it was back and forth, it was Buddy and you and LeBron. And uh, what, what did you make of how that played out in the fourth quarter especially, and, and what were you guys trying to get, get accomplished there? Uh, to get the ball out of Buddy's hand, man. Uh, he a great shooter, man, and don't need that much space, but we kept giving him space. Uh, but eventually he missed, man, and, and, and LeBron going to beat LeBron every time, man, and, and make the right play for us, whether it's find me, find Taylor find Russ or score score itself. So um, that's what happened. Malik, um, you know, obviously the team is missing some guys, and that's been one of the things that's gotten you to this role. But when do you think that – when was do you think it will stand out to you that, you know, this isn't just a hot streak for you. This is maybe part of the identity of the team where – you can be a closing guy and be in these plays and sets with LeBron in the fourth quarter. Oh yeah, um, I always come. I always think that I that I can do that for um, any team I, I be on, um, and I'm I'm ready for the moment whenever it happens. Um, but yeah, we 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 short a short a couple people, man. But when they come back, um, I'm I'm gonna still be ready and, and, and still produce how I am.